Hey, it's Chessie from Squeegee Inc. and welcome back to Printer's Corner. And in this episode, we have quite a few cool topics to go over. We've got about setting off contact, we've got mesh count choices, and we've also got about registering screens and any tips that we have for that. If you have any of your own questions, don't forget to use hashtag Printer's Corner in the comments of our videos and on Instagram and things, so that I can pick those up and answer those in future episodes. Our first question today is from Boson, and they've asked, hashtag Printers Corner, how do you set off contact on your m and Cruiser? There's actually two really important ways that you can set the off contact, and the off contact is the distance from the underside of the screen and the t-shirt. It just allows like a bit of a snap when you're printing so that you can print nice and cleanly. The first most important one is during the initial setup of your cruiser. We actually got the supplier from Screen Print World. He sent an engineer down to actually set up our press. And that meant that he could put a, like a level on all the way around where our screen is being held. And he made sure that this back plate was actually parallel to one of our platens the master platen, and then he checked that the, all of the platens and all of the heads were parallel to each other. And it's simply a case of adjusting this like back piece with a couple of Allen keys and making sure that it's level and literally lifting the screen in that kind of direction. That's like the main most important part. The second method is actually just a little micro adjustment that you can do in production. After it's all really nicely set up, if you're printing say 10 t-shirts and then during the print run you need to move over to some hoodies you don't want to have to be getting out allen keys and setting it all precise and being a bit over the top with making everything level you just want to do a little micro adjustment and that's where these bolts on the arms of the press come in really handy so you can literally just turn one of the bolts and it does lift the screen up a little bit if you were really thinking about it the screen isn't going um, higher in a perfectly parallel way it is actually lifting in a kind of like a little bit of an angle but it's so minimal when you're thinking about a big screen and a big big platen and this little micro adjustment in the angle it's not making any difference to your actual printing so that's what we do we just turn the bolt and increase the off contact very slightly in between when we need to adjust for different thicknesses of garments. So yeah, there's two very important ways that you can do that. m and have their own videos as well, but we think that our cruiser video is quite comprehensive and it does show how to adjust the off contact a little bit more in depth. Our second question is from Skelexa and they've said, what's the mesh count on the screen? We get that question quite a lot with our videos and on this particular video, it was a YouTube video about screen printing oversized t-shirt designs. And I looked back on the video to see which screen they were talking about. And I saw that it was one of our eco snap frames. Typically for that design, which was quite, um, it was a large, big, bold design that we we're printing with plaster link. Our normal go-to is a 55T mesh. However, we were using the snap frame and where we get our supplies from we actually can't get a 55t so i'm pretty sure that frame mesh had 43t in it what i'm kind of saying is that ideally we'd have used a 55 but we were able to go a little bit lower and it didn't make too much of a difference to the actual print and it still came out really nice the image allowed for a little bit of variance typically for Printing for t-shirts, you can use anywhere in the range of 43T up to probably 62. And in America, that goes from 110T right up to 165. The normal kind of range for the kind of images that we're printing in that video. Again, let us know in the comments what your favorite mesh is for particular designs and what things that you consider when you're picking mesh. And again, if you have any further questions on that topic, let us know in the comments. Our last question for, for this episode is from Amber Miller. And they said, I'm having a hard time getting my registration marks to match up, working on it for three hours and still no progress. 
Have you any tips for my problem? Yes, Amber, I've got lots of tips and there are loads of different things that, that can be improved to help you out. And I'm sorry that you've been working out for three hours. That sounds like a nightmare. We've actually done a whole YouTube video outlining all the different steps to make sure that your registering is easier. And that is called how to register multicolor images for screen printing. And hopefully in there you might spot something that helps you out that you might not be getting right at the moment. I've also written down some of the points from the video so that you can kind of check them off and make sure that you're not missing anything. The first thing that I would look at when you're trying to register your design is go right back to the computer and make sure that when you're making your registration marks, they're actually vectors because vectors just expose cleaner on the screen and then print cleaner on the t-shirt, you know, when you're actually testing your print. And it just means that you can line them up a little bit more accurately and you can get them finer and all that type of thing. So vector registration marks is my first one. The second one is actually take your layers that you've got on the computer and group them together with the image and the registration marks and keep laying them over the top of each other so that all your layers are lined up and then zoom in to the registration marks and just double check that they are all sitting nicely on top of each other. Do that on all four of the registration marks or however many you use. And then again, you'll be able to spot if one of them's off or something's gone wrong at the stage when you've actually got the design. The next really important bit, which can save you a lot of hassle, is checking them once they're printed onto the film. So you've printed your film positives, you've laid them out, chopped them up into their different layers. Now it's time to layer them up and double check them again. I do that on a light box or on my exposure unit just to make sure that they're all perfect before I go ahead and potentially waste time exposing different layers when they're not all perfect. So checking your film positives line up is the next one. Then another really big one that lots of us are guilty of missing is making sure that all the tension on the screens that you're using for this particular job, the tension of the screens all lines up. If you do have a tension meter, just check all your screens and to make sure the numbers are very close to each other and nice and high. 20 is considered a nice reasonable tension for a screen, for example. Anything higher is better. If you don't have a tension meter, just have a little think about it. Make sure you don't have a really old wooden screen and then some aluminium ones and big ones and little ones and all this kind of change because you're going to find the tension changes between all of those. Try and keep four new ones together for multicolor prints. That's a really big one because the tension on the screen is going to dictate where the mesh hits the t-shirt and can potentially cause you these registration issues that you're having. Another point I've got down here is the way that we do it and we found is the absolute best way to register your screens is to actually attach the film positive from one of your layers, normally the underbase or something where it's got lots of uh, image area, that's just my preference. Attach the film positive to the platen and we do it with dual tack palette tape from PMI and we have that on the platen and it makes it really sticky and it holds our film in place. And then we register the exposed screens to that film each time. That means that we're getting really consistent results when we're registering because we're not registering off one layer that's been printed, other layers that are, haven't been printed yet and all that type of thing. So attach your film to the platen. And then the next thing to check is that your platen is tight, which is, it seems like a silly one, but I've definitely done that myself. I've registered everything and something's gone wrong at the end. And it's just that the screws on the platen weren't tight. And then that goes on to say, make sure all your screens are tight when you think that they're registered. Doing all those little steps, having them even written out and following them will save you so much time when you've accidentally wasting three hours for trying to register something that's relatively simple. Other things to think about is the fact that when you're actually printing and doing your test prints, that you're printing in the same direction with the squeegee when you're printing the t-shirts because the mesh will hit the t-shirt in a slightly different angle and if you're printing this way for a couple of your colors and then you change direction 
the mesh will hit the shirt in a very slightly different angle and it'll mess up your registration. That's quite a lot of information, but there are lots of things that can go wrong when registering. And it's all just trial and error and making sure that you're trying not to make the same mistakes too often. If you have any other suggestions for Amber and to tell her like, how you've made registering your screens a little bit quicker and more efficient, please let us know in the comments. And that rounds up all our questions for today. The main question for today was tips for registering multicolor t-shirt designs. And I've run through the tips, but one of my main tips is putting your film positive on your platen and register your screens to the film positive. If you have any questions for us, make sure you use hashtag printers corner so that I can pick up those questions on our comments for our videos and on our social media. And I'll try and answer your question in a little bit more depth next week.